So bring your hands to your lap. And just find an easy crisscross applesauce is fine. If there is a, a more uh, elaborate seated pose that you'd rather take, you can do that. You can certainly find lotus or half lotus. Well, let's just take a minute to breathe. We've, uh, this, is, this is a crazy time we're living in, so yoga is sort of more important than it ever has been. Uh, and by yoga, I don't necessarily mean handstands and chaturangas, although I promise we'll do lots of that too. But really just the, the conscious, mindful breath. So hopefully you are somewhere where you can close your eyes, where you can feel your sitting bones grounded down into the mat, and where you can begin to bring your attention to your breath in a meaningful way, in a meaningful way. So slowing it down. Beginning to exhale completely. Hi, Alicia, I see you on there. Beginning to breathe all the way in. And then sending it out with intention in a deliberate way. Keep sending it out, keep sending it out, keep sending it out. Then inhale, draw it in. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale again, all the way in. Really nourish your cells, feel your rib cage lift, expand. And then with just as much attention to detail, send it all the way out. Taking three more breaths, inhale for four, three, two, one. This time exhale through your mouth, H-A for four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Last one. Inhale all the way and lift, expand, hold, and send it out all the way out. Seal your lips in and out through your nose. And let's inhale your arms up overhead. Watch your palms touch. And we'll exhale, twist over to the right. Bring your left hand the outside of your right thigh. Roll that right shoulder back. Maybe bringing your gaze just to the inside of that right shoulder, trying to find some length and some lift. Then we'll inhale through center. And we'll exhale it over to the left. Bring your right hand outside of your left thigh and then roll that left shoulder back. So we're always trying to find that twist coming from the thoracic spine. That's that part of your spine behind your rib cage. Well, you know, resist the temptation to crank your head around, right? That's not where the twist is supposed to be happening. And then inhale with your breath. Inhale it up. And move with your breath, exhale it to the right. Inhale at center, and exhale it over. Inhale, center, exhale it to the right. One more time, inhale at center, and exhale to the left. Come back to center and start to walk those fingertips forward. Ground your sitting bones down into the mat. You can keep your fingertips on the mat, but maybe you prop up your wrists so you find that extra stretch along your side body and your lats. You can just let your head be heavy here. And then we'll walk those fingertips back into center and switch. Whatever leg was in front, you're going to switch it. Find that easy cross-legged position. It's gonna feel weird, right? We always have one side that feels really strange. Inhale your arms up and we'll find our twists again. So come over to the right as you exhale 
and just moving with our breath. Inhale, center. And exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. One more. Inhale, center. And exhale to the left. Come back to center. We're going to roll over those shins. Find hands and knees. Line up your wrists underneath your shoulders. Line up your knees underneath your hips. As you inhale, drop your belly. Lift your tail. Lift your chin. Find your cow. And as you exhale, we're going to round your back. Tuck your chin. Tuck your tail into cat. Taking a few more rounds. I'll take three. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, round. You can make these big. You can bend your elbows. You can take them side to side. Again, inhale, finding your cow. And exhale, finding your cat. Last one, inhale, find your cow. And exhale, find your cat. We'll find a neutral spine. Let's start to find the real integrity of this tabletop position, right? So find a lift of your, of your belly button into your spine, a knitting together of your ribs. That's not to say that you're rounded, right? We're not in a cat spine like this, protracting our shoulder blades excessively. It's neutral and it's solid. Find a lift of your pubic bone, right? But not a tuck so much that you're in cat. Just an engagement of those lower abdominals. Start to press into the top of that right foot. You're gonna send your right hand forward, thumb up, right bicep, right next to your right ear. Nothing else is gonna move. You're just gonna send that left leg straight back. See if you can roll your inner left thigh up as you squeeze your upper inner thighs together. Ribs are still pulled in, belly is pulled in. Inhale it here and exhale, squeeze it in, everything to the center. Inhale, stretch it long without dumping in your low back. Keep it strong and exhale, round it in. Inhale, send it long. Exhale, round it in, hold it here. Maybe that right elbow comes to the outside of your left thigh and hold it for three, two, one. Send everything long. Then we're going to take that right hand, go out to the side, bring your right foot out, left foot, sorry, out even with your hips. Find your airplane, hold it, squeeze it, and then send everything long to the center. Now moving with your breath, inhale it here. Exhale everything out. Inhale it long. Exhale everything out. Inhale it long. And release it down. Find that solid tabletop position. So shift if you need to. Find the tops of your feet pressing down into the mat, that engagement of your lower abdominals. So then start to push your left foot into the mat, right? That's going to help you engage your low belly as you send your left hand forward, thumb is up, left bicep right next to your left ear. Nothing else changes, just send that right foot straight back. Rolling the inside of that right thigh up, squeezing your upper inner thighs together, continuing to find that lift and that solid foundation. Inhale it here. Exhale, round it in. Inhale, stretch it long. Exhale, round it in. Inhale, stretch it long. And then this time as you round it in, hold it, hold it. Maybe that left elbow comes to the outside of your right thigh for three, two, one. Bring it out to the side. Right foot straight out, left hand straight out. Hold it, squeeze it. And then we'll send everything long. Inhale it here. And exhale out. Inhale it long. And exhale it out. Inhale it long. Release your left hand down. Right knee down. Curl your toes under and find downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels. You can shift your hips left and right. You can push your ribs out left and right.
Then separate your feet about eight to 10 inches apart. Keeping your weight moving towards your heels, you're just gonna drop over to the left. Keep pushing forward with your hands, finding that stretch along the outside of your right, your right side of your body, your rib cage, your shoulder, your lats, maybe all the way down into your obliques. And then we'll come back in through center and send those heels over to the right as you push forward with your hands. Feel that big stretch melting your heart to your thighs. And then we'll come back to center. Lift your heels up as high as they'll go. We're gonna roll forward to plank. And then exhale, hips lead the way. Find your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your hips, roll it forward to plank. Exhale, hips lead the way, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll it forward to plank. You can drop to your knees if you like. We're gonna lower for five chaturangas. Exhale it down, inhale, push it up. Exhale it down, inhale, push it up. Three, two, and one. Push it back up, send your hips back. And we'll step that right foot between your hands. Drop your left knee down and sink your hips forward. Interlace your hands, place them on top of that right thigh. And see if you can find a forward movement of your hips, even a slight tuck of the tailbone towards that right heel, but without just hanging, right, in your joints. Maintain that integrity of your pelvis, squeezing everything to the midline, even as you find that opening. Start to lift your heart, start to lift your chin, start to lift your gaze. If it's available to you and it feels all right, you're gonna lift your arms up overhead, press into the top of that left foot, find that huge opening along the top of your, of your left hip flexor. And if you're in a back bend, come back to a neutral bend. We'll drop that right arm down and reach your left arm up and over. And then lift your right arm to meet your left and let those fingertips find the mat on either side of your right foot. Flex your right toes and fold over that right leg. Bend into your right knee, curl your left toes under. We'll step that right foot back to meet your left. Find your plank. Bring your right hand right below your face. We're gonna roll onto the outside of that right foot. Reach your left arm up to the sky. If you can lift your gaze up to that left hand, great. If you need to drop a knee, drop a knee. Maybe you send those left fingertips overhead. Maybe you lift that left leg for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your left hand down. Find your strong plank. We're going to lower the count of five, four, three, two, one. Belly down, Shavasana. Untuck your toes. Roll your shoulders back. Push into the tops of your feet. Find your baby cobra. No weight in your hands. Come up one more set of ribs. And then lift your hands for five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down. Curl your toes under, we're gonna lift it up to plank to the count of five, four, three, two, one, push it back, downward facing dog, pedal it out. Step your left foot between your hands, we'll drop that right knee, and lift it up, interlace your hands, opposite thumb on top, the way that feels weird, and then allow those hips to go forward, right? Still finding that squeezing, right? Left and right, front and back, everything squeezing into the midline. Press into the top of that right foot and start to lift your ribs, lift your heart, lift your gaze, maybe lift your arms, maybe find a back bend. If you're in a back, then come back to neutral. 
And we'll bring that left arm down and bring your right arm up and over. And then we'll bring your left arm up to meet your right and let your fingertips find the mat, shift your hips back, flex your left toes and fold over that left leg. We'll bend into that left knee, plant your hands, step your left foot back to meet your right and find your plank. Coming into our left side plank, plant your left hand down below your face. We're gonna roll onto the outside of that left foot, reach your right arm up to the sky, maybe looking up at that right hand. If it's available to you, you'll bring that right arm up and over. Lift that right leg and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your right arm down. Find your plank and move through your vinyasa. Lower halfway. Inhale, push your heart through your arms and exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or lightly float to the top of the mat. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. We'll hang for ragdoll. You can tuck your pinkies in your elbow creases. You can sway left and right, let your head be heavy. Release your fingertips down to the mat. We're gonna keep those feet hip distance apart and just lift it all the way up. Once you get up to the top, your arms are shoulder width distance apart, your fingertips are flared, your palms are facing each other, kneecaps are lifted, quads are engaged. We're gonna push those hips forward. We're not finding a huge back bend. This is just a little opening of the front body. But see if you can lift your ribs up away from your pelvis as you send your hips slightly forward. And then we'll come to Tadasana. We're gonna find a chair pose with our feet hip distance apart. And actually, before you bring your hands up, I want you to bring your palms of your hands right to the outsides, right, right outside of your knee. So as you sit low into this chair and your toes are light and your weight is in your heels, I want you to, oh, thanks you guys. I want you to push just enough to resist, right? You're gonna push in with your hands on your legs as you squeeze out your knees into your hands just enough to turn on your glutes. Right, so that just that slight exterior rotation of your femur that you're gonna engage your glute medius and that's what we want. So can you hold on to that? Hold on to that, set it low, engage your glutes, and then reach your arms up. Keeping that weight in your heels and sitting a little bit lower than you want. Keep those glutes turned on. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Release your fingertips down. Heel toe your feet together. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward. And exhale, we'll find a vinyasa. If you want to find a quick little bakasana here, you can bring your knees into your shoulders for three, two, one, and then float it back. Push it through and down your facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward. We're gonna float to the top of the mat. Lengthen and fold. Inhale, push through your feet, reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands at your side. We're gonna take three rounds. Three rounds, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Tanasana. Exhale, plant your hands, knees up or down. Step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, Ramukha Svanasana. Exhale, Aramukha Svanasana. Hold it here. Every inhale, find some space. And as you exhale, find some surrender. Heels reach for the mat. 
Bend your knees, look forward. We'll inhale all the way to Ardha Uttanasana. Lengthen and fold. Inhale, push through your feet, reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center uh, or at your side, Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen Ardha. Exhale, plant your hands. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, push it through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hopefully these down dogs are getting a little bit more open. It's weird not to be practicing in the heat, I know. Bend your knees, look forward, float to the top of the mat. Lengthen and fold. Inhale, push through your feet, reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands at your side, Tadasana. Last one, inhale, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, push it through. And exhale, downward facing dog. This time we're gonna inhale that right leg up, open up the hip, you can bend that right knee and open up even more. And then try and square off your shoulders. Inhale, square off your leg, straighten that right leg, and we'll exhale, bring your right knee over to your left elbow. Inhale, send it long, open up the hip. Exhale, right knee over to your left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, bring it over to the left. This time we'll kick it out to the left and find our fallen triangle. Bring your left arm up and over. Maybe bring those left fingertips towards the, behind you. <laughs> There's no mirror. And then we'll lift that right leg up for five. Three, two, one. Bring your left hand down. Bring that right leg up and over. Find your wild thing. Bring your right arm all the way up and over. Maybe looking at that right hand. And then we'll bring that right hand down and step your right foot between your hands. Left heel comes down. Find your warrior one. Virudrasana one. So really finding that, you know, as I know I talk about this a lot in class, but if you don't like where your feet landed, fix it, right? So traditionally, this is a front heel to middle of the arch of the back foot pose, right? In Iyengar, sometimes you'll see it heel to heel. That's a huge opening of your hips, right? That's a lot of torque going on in that left leg. If you don't have that kind of flexibility, you can always find a little bit more lateral space between your heels, right? You can walk that front foot out to the side and walk your back leg out to the side so that you're a little bit more hip distance. And that'll help you find those square hips, square ribs, sitting deep into that right leg, challenging yourself, strong left leg. One more inhale. And exhale, hands find the mat. Move through your vinyasa. If you want to take a little hop here, if you're somewhere safe <laughs> and you're not gonna work, you're not gonna crash into a TV or a bookcase, because that would be terrible and then send it back, downward facing dog. Inhale that left leg up, open up the hip. Really scoot that left hip on top of your right, and then scoop your right hip on top of, below your left, excuse me. You can bend that left knee, rotate it up even more, square off your shoulders. Then inhale, square off your hips, straighten that left leg, and exhale, shift it forward. That left knee comes to your right elbow. Inhale it back, open up the hip. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale it back, open up the hip. Left knee, right elbow, we'll kick it out. Bring your right heel down, bring your right arm up and over, really squeeze that left side of your waist. Maybe lift up that left leg for five, four, three, two, 
and one right hand comes down. We'll bring that left leg up and over the other side and find your wild thing, really squeezing that back body, opening up the front. Maybe looking at that left hand if that's available to you. And then we'll bring that left hand down and bring your left foot between your hands. Right heel finds the mat. And then you can make a decision here, right? Before you lift up for your warrior one, how far do you want those heels apart? Lifting it up, bending one day, bringing that left knee right over that left heel. Bring your arms up, finding that strong right leg. Maybe your palms are together. Maybe your forearms are squeezing. Maybe your head is dropped back as you looked up. This is the Ashtanga version. It's not the only version, but it's my favorite. One more inhale here. And exhale, hands find the mat. Take any vinyasa you like. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Look forward. Hold before you jump. We're going to take five little tuck jumps. So bend your knees, look forward, and you're just going to spring your hips over your shoulders for one, two, three, four. Last one, land between your hands. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Inhale, push through your feet. Reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands at your side. Find Utkatasana. So inhale, reach your arms up as you sit down. Woo! As you sit your hips low. You got lots of options here. Different variations of chair. So the first one, I want you to bring your palms together, bring your forearms together. Use the strength of your upper back to reach your palms up to the sky. Weight still stays in your heels. And then fold. Inhale, push through your feet, reach it all the way up. This time we're going to sit into a little bit more of a regular vinyasa chair, sitting your hips low and back. Hands are separated, still using the strength of your upper back to lift your arms. Your gaze can be neutral or it can be up. Sit a little lower. Three, two, one. Lower it down. Push through your feet, reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands at your side. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. We're going to take the hot 26 variation. So bring your arms up, palms face down, and start to sit your hips low. Arms reach forward. Trying to get those hips as low as your knees, using your arms for a counterbalance, really pushing your hips back. Holding it here. Uh oh, we're about to get a, a visitor. For five, four, three, all right. Two, one, push through your heels all the way up. Lead your arms up. Hi, Cindy. Lift your heels up, and we'll start to push those knees forward as you lower all the way down, if you can, one day, to your heels. For five, four, three, Two, one, slower than you want. Trying to keep you doing a better job, I hope, than I did. And then lower your heels down, arms stay up. Lift your heels one inch off the mat. Squeeze your knees together. And we'll start to lower and lower and lower. Again, one day bringing those hips all the way down to your heels. For five, four, Three, two, one, push, 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 all the way up. Release your heels down, arms come at your side, bring your feet together. 
Inhale, sweep it up. And exhale, hinge at the hips, come all the way down. Hi, honey. Inhale, either linger in your half lift and really feel that stretch, or once again, you can plant your hands and bring your knees into your shoulders. Look forward, lean forward, pick up your heels for five, four, three, two. On your next exhale, you're going to shoot it back, push it through, and send it back to a downward facing dog. We'll drop those knees out wide, big, bring your big toes to touch. Leave your left arm forward and bring your right arm through to thread the needle. Bring the right side of your forehead down to the mat. If you want to bring that left arm behind you and find that extra bind, you sure can, only if it makes it better. And then we'll find the other side. Send your right arm long. We'll bring that left arm under. And if we want to bring your right arm behind you and maybe tuck your fingertips into the inside of your left thigh, you can. And then we'll bring both hands forward. And find your downward facing dog. Curl your toes under. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale right foot between your hands. Left heel finds the mat. Inhale, sweep up your arms. And then exhale, just move through your vinyasa. Whatever that looks like, leg up or down, knees up or down. Really trying to be disciplined with one movement per breath. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale left foot between your hands. Right heel comes down. Inhale warrior one. Exhale hands find the mat. All the way to chaturanga. Find your back bend. Hips back. Moving on, inhale your right leg up. Exhale, right foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior one. This time we'll open it up for warrior two. You can scooch that right foot forward slightly. Again, trying to bring that right knee all the way over your right ankle one day. Looking out over that right hand, there's a slight squeeze of your shoulder blades on your back. Weight is in your right heel. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, windmill it down, vinyasa. Maybe you lift a leg, come halfway. Inhale it through, you certainly don't have to. Send it back. Moving on, inhale, left leg. Left foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior one. And exhale, warrior two. Adjusting your feet as needed. Really trying to tuck that right hip under you, right? So if you're in a warrior two and you're looking like this, that's because that your pelvis is on its side. In order to get it straight, straight, you're gonna take that back hip, scooch it under you. So now it's a nice straight pelvis, looking out of that left hand. And then this is the squeeze of the shoulder blades. Just slide. Pulling in of your ribs, lifting of your pubic bone, sit a little bit lower. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, windmill it down. Exhale it back. Moving on, inhale your right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward. We're going to windmill it all the way up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, side angle. You're welcome to take the hot yoga variation 
Or you can take your extended side angle, bringing your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Long line from your left heel all the way through your left fingertips. I often see people reaching for the mirror in front of them like this, right? One long line. No break at the shoulder. We'll bring that left hand down. Pick your left heel up, drop your left knee, and we'll find a lizard pose. So walk that right foot out, untuck your left toes, and we'll come down if it's available to you. So you can stay up on your hands, and if you want to come down to your forearms, but in order to get there, you need to do this little move here, then don't, because as you can see now, my, my pelvis isn't moving forward. I'm no longer getting the stretch which is the whole point of what I'm trying to do, right? Two stretches, right hip, left hip flexor. So it's better to stay on your hands, work your heart forward, and then find this opening here. We'll bring that left hand down below your left shoulder. Bring your right hand just to the inside of that right thigh. You're not pushing it or anything, you're just, just laying it there, right? No biggie. You can bring that right hand behind you. You can pick up your left foot. Maybe roll your heart open. Maybe shift your gaze up. And then release your foot. Bring your right hand back. We're gonna heel to that right foot so that it's back lined up in the center. And send your hips back. For Ardha Uttanasana, if there's a full splits in your practice, go for it. If you're in a full splits, come on back. Meet us in a half splits, then bend that right knee. We're gonna curl your left toes under your right hand to the inside. We're gonna take Skandasana. So coming low, keep the sole of your right foot down for now. If you need balance, you can always bring your fingertips down. And then we're gonna come all the way over here to the right. And then back over to the left. Drop your fingertips now. We're gonna float those right toes up. So you'll feel the stretch move from your adductors, your inner thigh to your hamstring. Maybe you can start to walk your fingertips so that they're on either side of that right leg. And you can fold over your right leg any amount. Bring your fingertips back over to the left side of your mat and we'll come over to the other side. So bending deeply into that right knee. Getting that stretch along that left adductor, but then flipping those left toes up. And maybe walking your hands on either side of that left leg and finding a stretch. Folding over your left leg if that's available to you. And then we'll come back. Whoop. Pivot all the way to the front. Step your right foot back to meet your left and hold your plank. Kneecaps are lifted, quads are engaged. Trying to line up those wrists right underneath your shoulders. Your ribs are pulled in, but then, so there's this long line, right? This long line that's going up, 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 until they get to your collarbones. And then you broaden your collarbone. So even your kneecaps are lifted, your quads are engaged, your pubic bone is lifting up, your ribs are knitted together, you're eliminating the valley between your shoulder blades, you're spinning the soft part of your elbows forward, but then you're broad broadening your collarbones at the same time. And we'll send it back for downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, left foot comes forward. Windmill it all the way up for warrior two. Mm. 
Sending it low here. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, coming into your side angle. Again, you can come into your hot yoga variation, or you can bring that left hand outside of your left foot and reach your right arm up and over at an angle. And push into your left heel, we'll reach it all the way up, reverse. And exhale, windmill it down. We're gonna find a lizard pose, so pick up that right heel, bend your right knee, and we'll start to walk those left toes out to the left. And taking your time here, right? Lizard is one of those poses you don't get to and you just like stick it. You know, you get there and you're like, oh, okay, here we are. Let's, uh, let's breathe a little, let's work into it. Maybe rock a little left and right, especially if you do other sports that are in the sagittal plane, right? If you're a runner or a cyclist. It can be, some, it can be pretty tight around here. If you're down on your forearms, come back up to your hands. Bring your right hand, place it right below that right shoulder. And maybe just lay your left hand right on top of your left thigh. If you would like to roll that left shoulder back, reach back and grab your right foot and pull it in, you can. And then maybe you open up your heart, maybe you shift your gaze up. And then release your foot if you have it. We're gonna heel to that left foot back in line and shift your hips back and flex your left toes. Again, if you're working on towards your full splits, your Hanumanasana, you can do that. And if you're in your full splits, come on back, meet us. We'll bend into that left knee, plant your hands, and send your left foot back to meet your right. So we're gonna do our five little uh, tuck jumps again. So bend your knees, make sure you're not looking at your feet. I promise they're attached. Look between your hands and keep your gaze there. Bend your knees, maybe your little hops are like this, right? That's good, that's a handstand. Anytime your hands are the only thing on the mat, that is a handstand. So bend your knees, look forward. We got five, four, three, whoop, two, last one, land it forward. Nicely done, push through your feet, reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands at your side. We're gonna push into that right foot. Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll pick up that left knee and bring it somewhere, right? It can be kickstanded, can be on your shin, it can be on your upper inner right thigh, it can even be in your half lotus, your Ardha Padma, whatever. Whatever works for you today, every day is different. And then we'll bring our arms out wide like you're pushing away the walls. And see if you can twist to the right. Bringing your gaze with you. Come back to center. And push, twist to the left. Come back to center. We're gonna send that right arm up, your left hand behind your left leg and we'll pick up the inside of your left foot with your left hand, bring your knees back together. Start to kick your foot into your hand. Start to reach your right arm forward. Find your dancer pose for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on back, 
Release your left foot, Tadasana. Bring your hands to heart center. We'll pick up that right foot, rotate it out. Find a home for it. And then send your hands out wide. You're pushing away the walls. And we'll start to twist to the left. See if you can bring your gaze with you, but not your hips. Come back to center. Twist to the right. Come back to center. Send that left arm up. Left palm faces forward. Bring your right foot behind you, right hand behind you. Grab that right foot. Bring your knees back together. And start to kick and reach for five. Four, three, two, and one. Come on back. Release your hands down. Find Tadasana. Bring your fingertips down to the mat. We're going to find a little toe squat here. Tuck your chin. So before we find a balancing version, just leave your, leave your fingertips on the mat and make a tiny round little ball. Then plant your hands down on the mat. And we're going to see if we can keep your ribs just as tight into your thighs as you start to send your heels down and send your hips up. So the second you start to lose connection between your ribs and your thighs, stop lifting your, heel, your hips up. And then we'll come back into our little ball. So we're going to do that two more times. Plant your hands. And start to send your heels down, hips up, and come back. Round, and then heels down, hips up, and come on back. Now you're gonna split your knees and start to walk your fingertips forward for a garland pose. So you'll use your hips behind you as a counterbalance, your hands forward. So this is like a happy baby, right? You're getting the same stretch along your low back. If you want to take the balancing variation of this, you can reach back and grab for your heels. And tuck your chin, maybe even bringing your forehead down to the mat. When you've had enough fun with that, bring your hands forward and we'll just find a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together. We're going to find Baddha Konasana here. So using your thumbs to just open up your feet, bring your elbows tight into your body, allowing your legs to just fall, right? So for some of you, I know this is, this is enough to just sit up tall and to let your uh, knees go out wide and start to reach your heart forward. And then we'll sit up, tuck your chin, round your back, bring your forehead to your big toes. And we'll sit up tall. Bring your feet out wide. So we're going to find a little twisting stretch here. So keeping those toes pointed up, I'm going to start to twist my ribcage over to the left and bring my right elbow to the inside of my right thigh and bring your, my left arm up and over. So this is more about just opening the heart here, right? I'm gonna roll this left shoulder out. I'm gonna try and point my heart up to the sky. It does not matter at that point what my left hand touches. 
it's way more important what's going on with this side stretch. And then I'll allow that left shoulder to roll over towards my right foot and fold over my right leg. I can even bring my right hand behind me just to stabilize as I start to point my heart over past my right foot. And then we'll come back up through center. I can bring my hands behind me. Find a little anterior tilt. And then I'll go ahead and start twisting to the right. So legs are strong, feet pointed up, twist to the right. Bring my left elbow to the inside, my left thigh. Peel my heart open. Send my heart up to the sky. Maybe start to reach my fingertips up and over. Just trying to get a big stretch here. Doesn't matter if it touches anything. And then as I exhale, I'm just gonna let that right shoulder start to roll down and reach my heart from my left foot. and fold over that left leg. We'll come back in the center. Use your hands to bring your legs back together. We're gonna to take either a full or a modified reverse plank. So I have to take a modified uh, to spare my hamstring. But if you want to take the full, you're going to send your legs forward, your toes, roll your shoulders back, hands behind you, fingertips pointed towards your toes, and then start to lift your hips and bring your big toes to the mat. I'm going to have to bend my knees and bring my, my hips up this way and hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down. Reach your feet forward, reach your hands forward. We're gonna roll it all the way back. Once you get there, bring your knees in, give them a squeeze left and right. Then allow your feet to find the mat, back of your arms to push in. We're just gonna lift it up for five bridges. Just using your breath, inhale it up and exhale it down. And it's just to open up those hip flexors. Inhale it up and exhale it down. For three. And down. Two. Last one. Release your hips down, bring your knees in. I'm going to squeeze them and walk left and right. Bring your feet down, mat with distance apart. We're going to cross that right ankle over your left knee and allow your legs to fall over to the right. If you want to heel toe that left foot further to the left, that'll give you a a little bit more intense stretch along that left hip. We're finding an internal rotation. If you want to bring your arms up overhead, that'll help you feel it as well. And then we'll come back to center. Release your right foot down. Bring your right foot pretty close to the right side of your mat. And bring your left 
ankle, cross it over your right knee, and then we'll let those legs fall over to the left. And again, you can heel toe that right foot off to the right as needed, or bring it in if you need to. Uh, find a little bit less intense stretch. And then we'll come back to center. Bring both knees in once again. Give them a little squeeze left and right. And then we'll let that left leg go long. Bring your right knee all the way into your right shoulder. So maybe even interlacing your hands along your right shin. And then allow your left hand to guide your right knee over to the left, extending your right arm long to the right. Come back into center. We'll bring that left knee in to meet your right. And start to send that right leg long as you squeeze your left knee all the way into your left shoulder. And allow your right hand to guide your left knee over to the right, extending your left arm long to the left. Bring that left knee back in. Bring your right knee in to meet it. Maybe curl your forehead towards your knees. Maybe find a big rounding. Really squeeze everything in tight. Big inhale here. And as you exhale, let everything go. Maybe tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Palms face up. Toes flop out. We're just going to be here for one minute. Allow your body to sink into the mat. I'm going to take four breaths together. So we'll inhale for four, three, two, one. H-A, exhale. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Number three, inhale all the way in. Exhale. Last one, biggest one, all the way in. Start to make your way up to a comfortable seat. I'm going to get closer so I can say hello. My hands to heart center. Thank you so much for coming in, uh, for spending part of your evening with me. 